All right. So what the heck is going to happen December 21st, 2020? We keep hearing about it. We keep seeing about it, especially if you're on TikTok. Um, you know, December 21st came up also in 2012, I believe, as, you know, the last day on the Mayan calendar and the world's going to end. And so now we're getting it again um, based on astrology. There are some astrological uh, aspects, transitions, etc. that are indicating something major for that date. Um, I do believe in astrology and I know that many of the uh, astrologers that I've spoken to all say that there's something up. So let's see what the tarot has to say. All right. Let's talk about December 21st, 2020. What should we know? Okay. Let me take these first and see if we need any clarifiers. The Empress, yeah. We're going to have to be taking care of ourselves here. But a burden will be lifted. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> these are all reversed too. So it's going to be a time of nurturing. There's something, I feel like something is lifted that um, kind of, I see a, a bit of a division here, okay? So I, I feel like the burden is lifted. There's 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 a lot of tension right now, um, particularly in the U.S., but we also have, you know, our, our whole worldwide issue going on as well. Uh, but I feel like it's going to be a time where we get in touch with our humanity. Um, something gets something is lifted that um, has been kind of preventing us from seeing it. And I, I feel like this is a time for us to focus inward. Uh, the Empress is also about fertility and birth. So this could be the birth of our new way of living, um, our way of being more nurturing to ourselves, each other, and our planet. The Empress is all, also, you know, always seated in nature. She has the pomegranates on her dress indicating, uh, you know, like fertility and uh, bearing fruit, etc. So um, it's it's kind of i feel and i really just got drawn to the um the female symbol here that you know our planet maybe not our planet maybe just our country um we'll see how that goes in, when i get some clarifiers but i feel like we're we're headed to a world where uh you know the women are kind of we're gonna have some fe divine feminine going on here you know our our female population may be uh headed into the leading roles of our country, um, possibly our planet. Um, so yeah, I feel like we're going in more of a divine feminine route, getting more in touch with our humanity, nurturing, caring for each other, the birth of a new, um, a new way of life where we have burdens lifted. Now this, this also, you know, he's wounded. It's, it's a healing. So this, this is the nine, we have the nine and the 10, and then we have another 10 over here, by the way, which the tens would indicate the end of a cycle. Um, we have the, the nine here is, is about kind of like, before you get to that end stage, you need to do that healing work. He's wounded. He's, he's like the, the wounded, um, hard worker he's you know out working in the fields doing the labor he's our laborer okay this is all about taking action with this burden card here reversed being lifted away from us also we need to um worry about our healing this is where we take our final um breath of life into the last stage of things so i feel like th this this healing is for everyone at our planet and everything. So we have the Ten of Cups, which is one of the happiest cards in the deck, reversed. This is going to piss some people off. This is going to piss some people off. Um, the way he's looking over now, and it is reversed and upside down, but I can tell he's looking over there. I feel some jealousy. So I feel like, I feel like, uh, you know, the divine feminine is going to step in here and, and take care of some of our burdens. Like what, what does a mom do? If any of you are moms out there, you know, that if somebody is suffering, it feels like your duty to relieve pain and to help heal. You want to, you know, kiss it all better and put a bandaid on the boo-boo. So 
I, there are going to be, I feel like, some masculine counterparts that don't like that. I sense jealousy and I sense maybe even the word sabotage just popped in my head. Maybe even a little sabotage. So let's see if we can get some clarifiers. Can you tell me more about this Empress card, please? Can you tell me more about the Empress card and why she's here? Okay. Another 10, y'all. <laughs> you guys. Another 10. This is ending. This is the end. Oh, yes. That's what I just felt. Okay. It's the end. Oh, God. Every time I start to say it, it's like I get tingles. It's the end of being focused on that coin. This was our goal previ previously. This is the end of the cycle of being controlled by money. Okay, this 10 being the end and this card being about money, I, I like immediately we're ending I just heard the word corruption, but I'm also feeling um, the the commercialism of our society. Wow, this feels really big to me. This feels really big, um, and it was very clear immediately when I saw the card. It's it's the end of being focused on money, okay? And like I said earlier, it's where we start to focus on each other. It's where we start to feel um, connected to each other, to our planet, and we start taking care care of us and each other and you know our resources our planet provides everything but do we take care of it not in the best ways you know there are a lot of people out there fighting but you know nobody would have to fight to get more care for our environment if everybody took a little bit of extra care people wouldn't have to go so crazy overboard you know what i mean if everyone did a little part then you know, we wouldn't have to be fighting over how deep we need to go to, re you know, to replenish things. But that's a whole other issue. I feel like it's an, it's an end of commercialism. It's an end of that, um, the commerce side of things. And we're bringing forth that divine feminine where it's more of a connection. All right. Can you tell me why this ten of wands is reversed, please? Tell me why the Ten of Wands is reversed. The Seven of Wands. You know, we've been living, we've been living on the defense. We've been living on the defense. We've been preparing to go for battle um, and, you know, gathering things up and it's been so burdensome. Um, so, yeah, what, what I'm saying about a burden being lifted we're, it's lifting us out of this defensive state. I like can actually like kind of feel the card. This card is pulling this one up out of there where you don't need to be defensive anymore. Um, so yeah, well, let's see if we can get any clarification on the nine of wands. Why is this nine of wands here? Page of cups. Because we're starting, yep. So we're, this is about new emotions. This is about um, young love and feeling that tingly, um, you know, the, the honeymoon phase. Okay, so, okay, we're entering a honeymoon phase. So where the Nine of Wands was about, like, putting that last piece in place, healing first, um, the, the cups is water, and that's also a healing energy. Um, so I feel like that that last little step is going to be feeling like young love it's going to be feeling like the honeymoon stage of this new earth this new um way of life that we're heading into so i feel like that's that that is kind of leading us there again with these top cards leading the bottom this this one is kind of leading into the healing okay so it's going to be a new feeling feeling healed and and um you know, feeling back in the flow of things. So, um, speaking of flow, I'm also noticing this flow of water here. There's a river here. It looks like we have some flow going on. It's not exactly like flowing through the card like these ones are. Also here as well, we have that water flowing. We're going to get back into a new flow. There's a new flow for us. All right, so I'm really curious about this Ten of Cups 
in reverse. Please tell me more about this Ten of Cups in reverse. Please tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Yeah, see, we have the this Ten of Cups in the normal position would be fulfillment, wish fulfilled, happiness. Um, but with it reversed, it's a little bit more troublesome. So I feel like there's somebody's jealous. Somebody's going to get, you know, this this new change that what we're going to be pushing here or experiencing is going to be something that's um, not going to make everyone happy. There are going to be people who hide away from it. Who shy away from it there are going to be people who don't want anything to do with it this is about being bound and, and caged and you know perhaps there will um, be some people who uh, with the word caged I got jail image in my head um, the for some reason the castle on the cliff here made me think of Alcatraz and I don't even know never been there <laughs> But, um, you know, there may be something to do with the, actually the location of Alcatraz. Who knows? Um, and then there's some more water down here as well. But it, it's like, it's like the water is dried up. Like, it, like she used to be standing in water and the water has started to dry. And it's just left these little puddles. I feel like something is depleted here. Somebody doesn't like their power. Ooh their power is being depleted that's what makes them jealous and pisses them off so somebody's going to be upset by this change but i feel like it is for the better i feel like we're there is definitely something to it there's definitely something to this december 21st um that that leads us in a better direction i feel like i feel like we're we're being lifted out of a burden some area some people are going to be pretty upset by it because it's going to strip their power away and they're going to feel caged um there may even be a, a potential for some people to be locked up somewhere um perhaps this is um about people losing their freedom um so you know with what i'm saying as you know f more feminine leadership could some of our male leadership leadership be um you know jailed for something that is revealed when this is lifted let's find out. So, um, I'll check back on this one after December 21st and you guys do the same. So make sure you like hit subscribe and, and do the bell for other readings like this, but also give it a thumbs up. It'll put it into your favorites folder so you can come back and see how much of this happened. So I will see you in the next video. And as always have a blessed day.